Hello everyone, and welcome to another game of World of Warships. Today it's one of my replays, and I'm in the Ochotnik at tier 5 Russian Destroyer. I'm on the map New Dawn, it's a free pronomination game, and uh, top tier, not really enough, but there is a carrier. So there is that. But yeah, top tier battles at tier 5 still exist, I'm as shocked as you are. Almost as shocked as that there is a carrier. <laughs> No, the carrier was expected. The tier 5 game was not. Anyway. I have uh, encouraged this Acasta to smoke up and retreat. Now I'm taking this cap and I haven't gotten torpedoed yet, which is good news. Now, of course, there is the fish. I am angled quite well and there isn't a mean nose top, so I'm getting away with this. Meanwhile, there is a Nikolai pushing in. We'll see if it keeps doing that or not. Nikola is a very rare ship, so... Uh, but at least I think, like, Nikolai was the the, uh, the overpowered Russian thing, right? That was uh, a big deal back in the day, I think. These days, the biggest deal is actually getting people at tier 4. <laughs> but, uh, anyway... It looks like it keeps coming this way. I'm getting well a bit more damage into the Acasta and the Nikola is good as well. So torpedoing right now is a bit of a mixed bag because it's technically out of uh, torpedo range. And look at that. Look, look at where my torps got uh, stopped. Right there is. Well, we can only see water here, but apparently torpedoes can't pass. So this is a this is a trap island. Yeah, I torpedoed a little bit too early. So it's coming towards me, which means it's sailing into those torps in a way. But it's not fast enough to actually like reach the torps before they run out. But the thing is that this tier torpedoes reload so quickly that it's not much of an issue. Because as you can see, I already have more on the way. And soon there will be even more. Yeah, the, the next launcher is almost ready. And we have even more ready, so... <laughs> Just do Kotnik things. Now this time I did get some torps. For some reason the Nikola just keeps coming. And uh, soon it will sink. Those torpedoes might finish it off. I do have more ready. My smoke is running out. This will be a close one. Will it sink before I get detected? Actually, yes, I guess. So overall... We are two ships ahead and we have two camps, so not looking too bad. The uh, Acasta has fled. It is on very low health, so obviously it doesn't want to be in a gunfight with me again. Which makes sense. Meanwhile, the König... I don't actually know what this König is doing, because it looks like it's running face first into an island back there. I mean, it hasn't, like, collided with the islands just yet, but it's obviously going to, and it doesn't seem to be maneuvering in any way to avoid that. So maybe it just really wants to hug this island? Now, I assume it's just not paying attention, although you do get this, like, island warning that beeps at you, right? But honestly, like, if it's just zoomed in and looking backwards, might not realize that. But what's, what's really... Uh, Impressive for me is that we didn't see any maneuvering, right? It went straight nose first in and you should get like that, uh, that island warning. So it, it, at some point you should realize it and then people would usually try to maneuver in a way. But uh, I guess not this König. Now I'm trying to use this island as cover to approach it and then torpedo it, right? I didn't want to go straight in because obviously I'm getting spotted before I'm in torpedo range. But with this island, I was able to get very close with, uh, you know, without being under fire. And uh, this is Koenig AFK. I'm not actually sure what's happening here, but I got tops on the way. It's on fire and uh, stained. So. Uh, <laughs> I mean, it was moving into the island, right? So at least, uh, yeah, that Miyoki is definitely AFK. So, um, 
I think we are winning this. I did have a smoke ready there in the end. Not not when I started my run at the Koenig, but it came available uh, shortly afterwards. But obviously nobody was shooting me, so I didn't need it. Meanwhile, I could just go after the AFK Miyogi, I guess. Would give me a lot of damage, but would also be rather pointless. Instead, I'm just gonna take this camp. And uh, you know what? Let's speed this up slightly, because there really isn't much happening here. I'm just gonna take this camp, and maybe I'll actually find something to shoot soonish, or not. You know what? The Iron Duke is getting closer, so I'm taking the center camp. Interestingly enough, the only thing we've lost so far is destroyers. You know, but at this point we have a vast ship and points lead, so it's not really that relevant. And look at that, it looks like the points aren't actually buggy anymore in the, the team panel. Or, oh, well, maybe they'll be buggy again, who knows. <laughs> <laughs> just noticed like the last replays that uh, i've used uh, the team scores were flipped on the top but it seems like was there even a patch or is is the bug just uh curing at random who knows what i do know is that i found a kamikaze and now that kamikaze is well i, I missed it's a potential problem. Kamikaze is a strong ship. Well, not gun-wise, I suppose, but torpedo-wise. It will most definitely try to torpedo me, so I need to do a little bit of maneuvering. There's also an Iron Duke that could do some gunning. But, I mean, I'm very confident in our victory at this point. So I'll just keep shooting. There are some fishes, as expected. Now the Kamikaze could be trying to uh, torpedo the Kavur that's close by. And that has not much way to escape. Or I guess, ah, it's still inside the camp. Yeah, it would make sense if it tried to ambush me around the center island, right? It's... Well, I have a lot of fish too, but I'm not the most maneuverable. It comes around here in the right angle. It could now... Oh no, it's back there. I was thinking for a moment it could ambush me, right? If it came like around here right now... Obviously, with my nose pointing towards it, I couldn't do much, and then it could torpedo my face. Like, the, the Okotnik has a lot of guns, but not really a lot of guns that look uh, forward. You have to show a certain amount of broadside to use those guns, and also you have to show a certain amount of broadside to use the torpedoes. So if the Kamikaze wants to fight me, it needs to uh, use those advantages, or just, like, you know, hit me with torps uh, in an sort of ambush. Then again, we are now at 950 points, so the Kamikaze feel like it has uh, missed its opportunity to fight me, because there is no time. I mean, it, I don't know, maybe it has fish towards the battleship and can delay it slightly longer. We now also have planes here that should spot it at some point. But we had 900 and, uh, well, 80, uh, 990. So unless, yeah, unless there's fish right now hitting me, this is over. Oh, it is over. <laughs> Never mind. Never mind. Well, an um, Okotnik game, and there was a little bit of fun had here. Mostly because the planes never showed up. I guess, well, the enemy carrier had 20. Is, was the enemy carrier AFK? So, so the enemy had essentially three AFK ships, I guess. With the enemy carrier being basically AFK, that explains why I wasn't harassed by uh, any planes. And, uh, yeah. There is that. Hope you guys enjoyed watching it, and I'll see you next time.